good morning from Nice, the third largest city in Serbia. Not Nicheville, as the sign curiously says behind me. I've not got long here, it's just a stop between Belgrade and Sofia, so let's have a quick look around. Let's go. currently inside Niche Fortress which in keeping with a lot of the fortresses we've seen so far in Serbia is more of a sprawling park contained within fortress walls. lots of boards started around explaining stuff but we've got to be honest none of it is massively interesting thus far there's some roman looking stuff down there which wasn't in the best condition but basically equated to a hole in the ground i'm deliberately not taking my phone out of my bag right now and looking at the map i'm just gonna have a wander around see what i can see first just in front of me now there's a rather unusual wall with some kind of jazz musician painted on it. Let's go and have a look. Now the weather had started cooling down in this region, or well, so it seemed. But today the weather forecast is back up to 29 degrees, the sun's out. And unfortunately for me, so are the insects. I've spent the last few weeks getting absolutely destroyed by insects and it feels like it's about to happen again today. So, fingers crossed, wish me luck. Walking through Niche this morning, it is a Saturday, Saturday the 21st of October. It feels eerily quiet everywhere. For uh, the third biggest city in the country, there's not a lot going on walking through the city centre this morning. Maybe it'll be different when we head back, but right now it doesn't seem like there's a lot going on in Niche. Now there is one specific thing that I've come to see in Niche. And that's a certain tower, which will probably be made obvious by either the title or the thumbnail. So you've already worked it out, but more on that later. That's the other side of the city. We'll get there eventually. For now, let's keep on walking around this park. Looks like we've got our answer about the Nicheville sign and the guy playing jazz on the wall at the back. There's obviously a jazz festival here. Maybe the Nicheville is a play on words for Nashville. Mystery solved. Well, what's left of the Fortress has basically been turned into a cafe and I'm already at the exit again now, so that was basically it. There's not a whole lot going on. Let's hope I can find something else, otherwise this ain't going to be the best video. Well, I'm back in the fortress again because on my way out I saw people walking up on top of the walls, so I thought I'd better come back in and do that as well. Probably got a nice view of the river on the other side.
as expected. Some nice views of old Reka Nishava, the Nishava River. It's running alongside me down there. I've got banging headaches, so I'm gonna go inside for a bit and then we'll go in search of this tower. Let's go. Headache averted, I've now reached Chele Kula or Skull Tower. Now while that does sound cool, we do have to remember that these are in fact real human skulls. About 200 years ago, there was a Serbian uprising against the occupying Ottomans. And the Ottomans responded by building a tower of over 900 human skulls. Now there isn't 900 still in there today, but let's go and have a look at what is left. They've built a chapel around it, I've got my ticket. Let's go in. partial amount of the tower left and significant holes where skulls have been removed over time. I'm not sure of the exact number that's still inside. Now when the Turks or the Ottomans built this tower, the intention was to intimidate the Serbs as a warning to stop the uprising and, and not give them any more trouble but instead it became a symbol of hope and freedom for the Serbs. strange feeling looking at human skull knowing that it was once a living breathing person just like me or you confronting death a weird feeling let's get back into town enough of the morbid thoughts just on the way back into the city I've taken a slight detour have a look at the local football stadium, the home of FK Radnički. They are unfortunately playing away this weekend, so no football for me, but we'll definitely try and fix that next week in Bulgaria. As I walk through this park under this colorful bridge, that's gonna be it from Niche. Just a short video, if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up button, subscribe for more travel adventures and I'll see you back in Bulgaria.